Welcome to Cedar Hill Country Market. Today I'm going to be painting, hand painting, one of our chickadee birdhouses that we carry on our website. Um, I've done some videos on other birdhouses, but I've not done a video on actually painting one from scratch. And how I'm going to put this together for... Uh, to put up for sale on our website. So let's get started. Okay, I have a little paint palette here. I'm gonna cover it with saran wrap so it'll be easy to clean off. And put this in here like this. So at the end of the day, I can just rip off the saran wrap and I don't have to wash any of the paint. Palettes. So we're going to use some, just some celery green. We're going to get a base coat on um, the roof. Now it's going to probably take uh, more than one coat. <laughs> So we have our celery green and the roof part done. Now we're going to work on the body of the birdhouse. And I'm choosing to do a baby pink as our foreground uh, paint color. And then we're going to come on top of the baby pink with some other colors. Because um, we're going to do sort of a brick look on this birdhouse. And so I'm going to use the base of it or really the mortar color of this birdhouse in a baby pink and it, it will look worse before it looks better so um, these light pinks and light greens go very well together and they're great spring colors uh, they're neutrals for those who like to have neutral colors in their garden So we're going to get all of the bottom house, the bottom of the birdhouse painted pink. So now we're going to put our brick, I'm going to do a brick paver look on this birdhouse. And so uh, I'm going to start by just freehanding my bricks. And any places that I miss and go into the mortar, I can straighten out with the pink paint. So um, I'll get that going. And I may go ahead and do the birdhouse and leave this front part so that I can show you how that I did that. Okay, so I've got my chubby little brick pavers on that side, the back, and this other side. So all I have left is the front. So I'm just taking, uh, this is the number six, 
paintbrush. It's probably the half inch flat. And I'm taking white. And I'm just freehanding the bricks all the way up to the top. And unless we were asked, we don't put the perches on the birdhouses because the birds don't necessarily require them. They don't really need them. They're cute, but uh, most of your cheaper made birdhouses have little perches sticking out of them. And, you know, doing a lot of research on birds, they, they don't require that. I think those were put on there so that the birds would stop and land so that the birdhouse owner could see them going in and out. But we typically don't put perches unless we're asked by the customer. So I'm going to go ahead and start free handing my bricks here. And uh, I'm just, it's going to take one to two coats of white. And they're not going to be, you know, perfect. And I'm just leaving a little fourth of an inch of a space between each one. And we want this to have a hand painted look. We don't want it having a factory look. So we're not really into the perfection. And remember, this is going to be out in a garden, so you're not going to be right up on it looking at all the detail. It's going to, it's like a an, an art painting. You're going to look at it from far away. You're not going to look at it from inches away. And I'm just going to stagger my bricks the best I can as I go up. has cured for 24 hours and now I'm going to um, go ahead and put a third coat on all of my bricks <clears throat> and then I'm going to do some shading to make it look uh, more like bricks so let's get started Okay, I've got the birdhouse all touched up as much as I'm going to touch it up. So now I'm going to do the bottom two rows as sort of a brick border. And I'm going to do some shading so that it looks like there's a contrast between uh, the border of the birdhouse and the top half. I don't know else how to explain that, but that's what I'm thinking in my head. So... Um, <clears throat> I'm going to use the multi-surface folk art paint. I'm using a medium and a light gray, and I'm just going to do a little bit of shading. I'm almost out of dark gray, so 
just going to be very little. I'm going to use probably a stencil to do some of this shading. I've got a small stencil brush here. And um, it's a brush on one end and a stencil on the other. And these are called uh, Dirty Dancers by Jelly Bean. You can buy them at jellybean.com. And I'm using the small stencil. And it's just really a fine one. And I'm just going to go through and pat the two bottom rows of bricks all the way around and see how I like that. And again, I'm going to... I'll do the dark first and then come back through and highlight the rest of it. <clears throat> and uh, I'm going to put a little bit of floating medium just so I don't big, get big, big globs of paint. And I can wet my brush a little bit. It'll be more transparent than if I didn't use it. So I'm going to start over here and then... Uh, we'll speed up the video and I'll go all the way around. see that we have a little border around all the way around the back like that and now we're going to <clears throat> go ahead and start on our uh, I'm gonna do some little um, tulips um, I'm gonna do sort of a little garden scene on the bottom of this some tulips so um, I'll let I'll uh, roll the cameras while I'm doing the first couple, and then I'll just uh, go ahead and finish up. Um, probably nobody wants the video is probably too long at this point, so um, I'll go ahead and do my first tulips on here, and then I'll move all the way around the. Um, okay, so <clears throat> I decided to go up all the way around with a new border. Uh, a brick border and I'm going to show you I did a little bit of drawing I'm going to try to put a hanging basket on this side with some iron work right here I may or may not add a window over here I haven't decided that yet um, but I thought that that would be really pretty um, I've not put anything on this side yet I might put some garden tools or a garden bench that might be something I might do here and in this end on the back side, I put a little chicken and some potted, I'm going to put some potted plants in here and there's a little shovel. And then this is a window and I'm going to um, get all this painted in and I'll may or may not put some flowers coming out of this with maybe some little birds. Uh, we have a cardinal that loves to gather at our windows here at the cabin. So I may do some little birds up here by the window. I'm not sure. But I'm gonna go ahead and start getting some of this painted in. And my video's too, really too long, so um, I'm gonna go ahead and I'll put some spots of me doing this and how this gets filled in, but I'm probably not gonna video the whole thing. Um, only because it, there's so much detailed work and the video would be hours long. So um, 
I'll come back and forth and give okay, you guys everybody. snapshots of that. I so have we'll done a lot of painting, so it's taken me about four and a half hours. And I just didn't stop, so I'm going to show you all the details. So on this one, I did a little hanging basket and a little topiary for the front. And then we're going to go to the left. And with this one, I just did a little gnome and a little kitty cat, a little white kitty cat, and then a hanging basket. And then the rear of the birdhouse, I did the shovel and the window with the three pots and the window box. And... I also did a little rooster over here and I have a Delaware rooster and I think he's so beautiful. And uh, I put a little rooster over here on this side. And then our last side, we'll go this way. I did um, patches of tulips with a reef hanging on the side, so. All we have left on this particular birdhouse is the moss that we're going to put on top. And I think for the sake of the video and the length, I'm not going to video that. I'll do a separate video on how to attach moss um, to a birdhouse. But I'll come back and show you the finished product. Okay, so I ended up taking off the moss that I put on originally on it wasn't really put together well and it didn't really work with the birdhouse i think this birdhouse was too big but i found some uh, moss uh, instant moss off of amazon and this this is for birdhouses as well it shows but what's nice about this one is on the back of it it has a grid where the moss adheres and it's like um, you can cut out around the birdhouse. So what I did was I took off the little hooks and I laid it on top. And then I'm going to hot glue this down with the paper. It's going to give it a way more longer lasting and sturdier um, roof for this particular birdhouse. And... Uh, We'll come back and show you the final, right, here's the final birdhouse uh, once we birdhouse. Get this well. And it's got the moss roof on it, and the water will just bounce off of this. Um, unless you put it under an area where it's going to get a lot of downpour, um, this will last for a very long time. So you can find this birdhouse at cedarhillcountrymarket.com and I hope you'll go check out all of our handmade and hand-painted birdhouses. And just remember, they're all built by an American uh, Army veteran, a disabled veteran. And uh, please share with your friends and uh, everybody have a blessed day. And don't forget, find somebody to bless.